Hey there, it's Chris from Good Roads, and all of the successful projects on the channel lately have got me feeling a bit ambitious. Everything from this awesome skateboard I just pressed with a 3D printed mold, all the way back to the snowboard that I built for myself over the winter, got me thinking that I'm really leveling up my abilities as a shaper. So, what say we make a deck that integrates almost everything that I've learned on this journey so far, really challenges me and pushes the limits of my abilities? I'm gonna build a dual core, full wrap sidewall composite deck, and I'm gonna press it using a 3D printed mold. Let's go. Years ago, I had the idea for this particular construction method, and I was excited but uncertain about whether or not it was possible. While I was hemming and hawing and building up my skills, along came Moonshine Manufacturing, an absolutely killer longboard company that makes, you guessed it, full wrap dual core composite decks. And they are beautiful. Go give them a look if you haven't. Seeing their success with the technique gave me the confidence to think it would be worth trying myself. And after the snowboard build, I felt like I had enough experience to give it a shot. To get this project off the ground, I need a mold. I'm going to be building myself a mountain board deck, but the techniques that I'll be using in this build would be the same for any kind of board that you'd want to make. This is the biggest 3D printed mold that I've ever made, but it goes together the same as all the other molds that I've made on the channel. Just glue the printed sections down to some wood backing. And then drill for some registration pegs to keep the mold halves aligned. The next thing I need to prep is my cores, and unlike some of my other deck builds, that means I need to know what shape the board is going to be from the outset. I used the mold as a reference and made myself a paper template. I trace the deck shape onto a piece of plywood and then cut the shape out of the center. This is going to be the router template for my sidewall channels. For the cores themselves, instead of gluing up a core block like I did for the snowboard build, I'm using these quarter inch sheets of laminated bamboo. I'll have a link to the supplier down below. I clamp my template in place and routed the sidewall channels into both cores. Next, I mixed and poured the urethane for the sidewalls. I'm using Specialty Resins Flexit 90, which has become sort of my go-to urethane because of its fast curing time and how little it bubbles. I measured two batches, mixing urethane pigment into the part B for that fresh pop of color. To pour the sidewalls, first I hit the channels with a heat gun to drive out any moisture. Then I mixed and poured my urethane. And lastly, I used the flame from a lighter to pop any surface bubbles. Once both sets of sidewalls were poured, I just had to wait for the urethane to cure. Next up, I had to plane the cores down to their final thickness. Here's where the advantages of the dual core construction come into play. You get all the control over the interior makeup of your board that you would get in a snowboard build, 
But by using multiple cores, you can thin them down to the point where they're flexible enough to be pressed into complex shapes. And you have the option of adding sidewalls, which makes for a much more robust deck. One giant pile of planar shavings later, and I've got two handsome cores that are flexible enough to be pressed into my mold. And with that, all I've got to do is cut some glass cloth and a couple other materials, and we're ready for layup and pressing of the deck. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. I am super stoked about this project. It's a technique that I've never tried before, but it's something that I've been wanting to give a shot for a long time. And it really does kind of pull in all of the more difficult aspects of so many of the projects that I've done here on the channel. It's going to be a real challenge, and I am excited about it. So if you want to see how it comes out, or if you just want to stick around for all the awesome DIY board sport projects we do here on the channel, just go ahead and hit subscribe. If you like the content, you want to help me keep making these great projects to share with you here on YouTube, you can join the awesome crew of people who support over on Patreon, or you can grab yourself something from the shop or make a donation over at goodroadscollective.com. All of the support is so, so very appreciated. Thank you very much. If you've got questions or comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, that's going to be it for this week. I love having you guys along for the ride, so until next time, I'll see you soon. So gentle, because it is a very heavy mold. Oh, I should, yeah, I should close all the doors and stuff. Get that background noise down, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, I'm saying? I know what you are saying. Gotta get the shot done.